Hi there guys, I hope you are having a good day. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's talk some boxing. Now apparently Andy Ruiz versus Dillian White isn't something that is on the horizon at the moment. And it does seem more likely that Dillian White will fight Jermaine Franklin, who is an undefeated American heavyweight challenger with 13 KOs. So it seems like Dillian White will be going out to the US, but Andy Ruiz isn't a likely opponent at the moment because negotiations are not underway. And... That is according to Ruiz's attorney, I believe, and he said, No, we are not holding talks regarding a potential fight with Dillian White, although I believe Andy would welcome the opportunity to fight Mr. White one day. So, there we go. It is a genuine possibility that these two guys do get in the ring, but it's not one at the moment. I believe both of them are at different points, because Ruiz is building back towards a world title opportunity, White should be literally a fight away or two fights away depending on how many fights he has this year. You would expect Dillian White to be called as a mandatory next year because if he doesn't then what is going on? What is the situation with the WBC? Because he must get his opportunity at some point. And if it doesn't come next year then when is it going to come? Is Dillian White wasting his time by sticking with the WBC? You have to wonder that at this point. But one good thing for Dillian White is there is always going to be a fight with Anthony Joshua because that's a big one. I mean, it is a long anticipated rematch between the two of them. So we'd be intrigued and we'd want to watch it. So there is a chance for him to get a world title opportunity with AJ. But with regards to his WBC opportunity, who knows? How can we know what will happen? I mean, based on what has happened in the past, you would expect it not to happen more so than it to happen because Dillian White hasn't really been all that respected by the WBC based on the situation currently and in the past two or three years. Being number one, then someone else being called as mandatory. Tyson Fury being ordered or Deontay Wilder being ordered to face Tyson Fury again after their first fight on December 1st, 2018. I mean, they ordered that rematch. Why? I mean, I know that it was close, it was a draw, Tyson Fury won that one, but still, if they were going to order anyone, it should be Dillian White, not a rematch with Tyson Fury. So I don't really get that situation with the WBC and the agenda they have with Dillian White. They seem to want to sideline him. They're happy to give him the WBC interim status, but no more. They don't want to give him that opportunity to finally get to where he wants to go. And he's given a lot to the WBC, he's constantly stayed loyal to them, yet nothing has come of it. And his hard work, taking the tough fights, the Joseph Parkers, the Oscar Rivas, the Alexander Povetkins, fights that could trip him up, one that did against Povetkin, but he won the return. He has taken those risks. That needs to be rewarded in some way, because aside from that, has Dominic Brazil done that? No. Has Luis Ortiz done that? No. And those are the type of guys who get the opportunity to face Deontay Wilder. I know that Wilder is no longer champion, but still, you can see it from that side, that these guys get the opportunity, all for facing lower level opposition and building their way up. They get that kind of chance. The Liam White fights top fighters back to back, takes risks, risks his position, even though he wants that world championship more than anything, probably more than those other guys, because look how he's proving it in the ring. Yet he is still willing to put it all on the line and go in there against a fighter who could well beat him, like Parker, like Rivas, like Povetkin, he did. So, Delia White has proven what he is capable of doing and what he is willing to do to get to that world title chance. Now it's time for the WBC to honour their word, I guess, and give him that chance. I mean, in the position we are currently in, with Tyson Fury and Wilder being postponed again, you would expect them to say, okay, Tyson Fury is now champion in recess, Dillian White is now full champion and will defend against Deontay Wilder. In other weight classes, that is what they would do. But this time, they're not going to do it, which asks a lot of questions about the WBC and their loyalty to Dillian White, because Dillian White has shown it to them, now it's their turn to show it to him. But with regards to his next fight and Andy Ruiz Jr, 
That doesn't seem something that will be on the horizon anytime soon. Not this year and next year he's going to be going for a world title. So that's why I say they're on different courses. I would imagine that Ruiz is looking to go back in with Anthony Joshua. He doesn't really seem all that keen to go down the Tyson Fury route or the WBC route. Maybe he has seen what's happened to Dillian White and thought, nah, I'm not too keen on that. Or maybe he just believes that he beat Anthony Joshua once so he can do it again. So maybe there's that kind of dynamic there, although AJ did conclusively outbox him in the rematch. Still, maybe he just thinks there's more money, it's a bigger fight, it's a trilogy fight with AJ, so that is what he is looking for. Even when he was coming back and losing weight, he said in one of his workout videos, this is all for you, AJ. So you can see the route he is trying to take. Dillian White is still on the WBC route, so they are going different directions. If White's main goal is to get a world title chance next year, and he's looking to go in with Jermaine Franklin, who is an undefeated challenger, yes, but he is nowhere near the level of opponent that Dillian White has faced, and I'm not going to blame him for taking that kind of fight, because why not? Everyone else is doing it, Dillian White has proved himself, all he needs now is that chance, and when it comes, he's going to seize it. So there is no need for him to put it all on the line when he is close to getting that chance because the WBC are going to make it hard for him anyway. So he just needs to push them in that direction to give him his opportunity. That is long awaited and long overdue. So Jermaine Franklin is the fighter it seems it will be. Then maybe someone else later on in the year, but it won't be Ruiz. And even next year, he'll be looking to put pressure on the WBC to call him as a mandatory, again, means Ruiz won't be a part of the picture. But this is a big fight, this is one I hope they do revisit at some point, because I just think it's going to be incredible if and when it happens, for however long it lasts, because if you think about it, White would be keen to go in there, and he would be expecting to get a stoppage against Ruiz, judging by what happened against Ariola, getting dropped against him, not really looking all that great, pushing his punches, and... He didn't have that same kind of sharpness that he had in the AJ fights. Even in the second one, you didn't see the same kind of Ruiz. It was a bit different, so maybe White would be looking to go in there and get a stoppage. He would be kind of expecting to be able to do that, given the kind of pace he has set in fights such as the Povetkin rematch. Imagine that White against Andy Ruiz from, say, the AJ fight. Now that is going to be an incredible matchup, if and when it happens. But guys, anyway, what are your thoughts on this? Dillian White versus Ruiz doesn't seem like it's going to happen at the moment, but it is one that both parties seem to be interested in. Even though Dillian White has been the one doing a lot of the legwork, and he has been the one sending offers to Ruiz, Ruiz didn't seem too keen, so there is something there. We know that Dillian White is up for it, because he's proven it in the past with the opponents he has taken. So, White is up for a Ruiz fight, Ruiz was looking to go a different way and obviously he fought Ariola instead because it was at that point that White was trying to get in with him. Even after the fight, Dillian White was still up for Ruiz, but at the moment they are on different routes. But if Andy Ruiz came forward and wanted to face Dillian White and was serious about it, I would say that Dillian White would jump in with him, no questions asked, because he believes he can beat him, he believes he can stop him, and he's done it in the past, going in in 50-50 fights, we've seen him do that many, many times, but world title opportunities are the most important thing for him at the moment. Anyway guys, drop your thoughts on this in the comments below, also leave a like and grab that subscribe button. Thanks guys.